The human circulatory system is a life-sustaining network, transporting blood, nutrients, oxygen, and waste products throughout the body. At its center is the heart, a tireless pump that beats over 100,000 times each day. The human heart is a hollow, muscular organ, roughly the size of a closed fist. It weighs between 250 to 350 grams in adults. Shaped like an inverted cone, its broad upper base narrows to a pointed tip called the apex. Let's take a look on parts of a heart you can see on the screen. Now we will take a look on heart's internal anatomy. Number one, arch of aorta. This is the main curved portion of the aorta, the largest artery in the body. It carries oxygen-rich blood from the left ventricle and distributes it to the head, arms, and the rest of the body through its major branches. Number two, pulmonary trunk. This large vessel carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation, splitting into the right and left pulmonary arteries. Number three, interventricular septum, a thick muscular wall that separates the right and left ventricles, preventing the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Number four, superior vena cava. This large vein brings deoxygenated blood from the upper body, head, neck, and arms back to the right atrium. Number five, right atrium the chamber that receives deoxygenated blood from the body through the superior and inferior vena cava before passing it to the right ventricle. Number six, inferior vena cava, a large vein that returns deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body to the right atrium. Number seven, right auricle, a small ear-shaped pouch that increases the capacity of the right atrium allowing it to hold more blood before pumping. Number eight, fossa ovalis, a thin oval-shaped depression in the right atrium's wall, a remnant of a fetal opening that once allowed blood to bypass the lungs before birth. Number nine, right atrioventricular valve, tricuspid valve, a three-flap valve that allows blood to flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle while preventing backflow. Number 10, chordae tendineae, tough, fibrous cords that anchor the heart valves to the papillary muscles, preventing the valve flaps from inverting during ventricular contraction. Number 11, papillary muscle, small muscular projections inside the ventricles that pull on the chordae tendineae to control valve movement during each heartbeat. Number 12, trabeculae carniae of the right ventricle, ridges of muscle on the inner walls of the right ventricle that help the heart pump more efficiently by preventing suction during contraction. Number 13, pulmonary valve, a semi-lunar valve that opens to let blood flow from the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk and closes to prevent backflow into the ventricle. Number 14, left atrium, the chamber that receives oxygen-rich blood from the lungs through the pulmonary veins before sending it to the left ventricle. Number 15, left auricle, a small muscular pouch that increases the capacity of the left atrium, allowing it to hold more oxygenated blood. Number 16, aortic valve, a semi-lunar valve between the left ventricle and the aorta that opens to allow oxygen-rich blood into the body and closes to prevent backflow. Number 17, left atrioventricular valve, mitral or bicuspid valve, a two-flap valve that controls blood flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle, ensuring one-way movement and preventing backflow. Blood flow in the human body is a continuous, life-sustaining cycle. It begins in the right atrium, where deoxygenated blood arrives from the entire body through the superior and inferior vena cava. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart to the body. Veins carry oxygen-poor blood back toward the heart. 
Humans and other mammals have double circulation type of blood flow. Double circulation means blood passes through the heart twice in a single complete cycle around the body. Path of blood flow in the heart. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters the right atrium through the superior vena cava from upper body and the inferior vena cava from lower body. From the right atrium, blood passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps the blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary trunk, which splits into right and left pulmonary arteries. These carry blood to the lungs. In the lungs, blood releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. Oxygenated blood returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins, entering the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood passes through the mitral bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps blood through the aortic valve into the aorta. The aorta distributes oxygen-rich blood to the entire body. Thanks for watching MH73D World. If you loved the journey, hit subscribe, smash that like, and join the world where your ideas become 3D reality. Stop! This is just the beginning. Even more epic 3D animated videos are on the way. So hit that subscribe button and join the adventure.